about the uh, top of our ticket, um, you know, I've, um, I've known Ken Cuccinelli for quite a while, and a lot of times we have colleagues in the General Assembly who will tell us, well, I vote this way because I'm afraid of a Tea Party primary or because I kind of have to. Ken Cuccinelli wants to vote the way he voted in the State Senate. He wants to do the things he does as Attorney General. He, uh, as, and he wants to take him to the Governor's Mansion. He doesn't feel any shame. He believes what he says, uh, which uh, sometimes is a compliment to politics, but in this case, it's far from it. Um, but he brings a unique perspective to this race because he's running on jobs and the economy, and he's not leaving any Virginian out. And he's made it very clear that he'll build a more welcoming climate in the state where talented employees and their employers will want to be, and where all families will be welcome. So uh, from Terry McCall's campaign, LeVar Stoney, his right hand man. Good morning, Virginia Democrats. Morning. Well, first, I want to thank you all. I would be remiss if I didn't add a little terrorism to thanking the greatest caucus of the Democratic Party of Virginia <laughs> for having me this morning. Uh, you know, I was listening to Governor Kane, Senator Kane, and I was thinking about my month of June. It's all kind of a blur sometimes because, you know, we're going to, you know, five different towns and cities day, and I'm like, gosh, yeah, when am I ever going to get home? Um, but thank God for uh, the iPhone and the iPad and the little FaceTiming and everything. But some flashpoints for the month of June on positive note. Number one, we nominated a great ticket to go against the Republican ticket this November, a ticket we all can be proud of. To add Mark Herring and also have Ralph North on the ticket. I think it's one of the stronger tickets we've had in years. So let's give them a <laughs> story from the road that I think is somewhat apropos to why we're here today and why we are Democrats. Uh, I was at a fundraiser, believe it or not. Uh, <laughs> I was in Fredericksburg, and um, a gentleman introduced himself to me, uh, a former delegate, uh, Bernard Cohen, uh, who was the lawyer for the uh, Loving case that banned interracial marriages in the Commonwealth. I am married to, I'm a part of the interracial marriage as well. And I met him. I told him how proud I was. Actually, he was part of the same party. I believe he represented Alexandria, I believe, for a number of years. And I took a picture with him and sent it to my wife. And uh, I told her who he was. And she said, you know, she told me she had shed a small tear and I said, well, this is the reason why we're, we're Democrats, for people like Bernard Cohen to you know, fight the good fight. And then last night, from the first night I've been home in a while, been on the road for a week, I got a chance to sit down and actually uh, look at the news a little bit, turn to MSNBC, and uh, I was watching the Rachel Maddow show, and I saw Mayor Villarosa, Los Angeles, marrying some of the plaintiffs from the, from the case, the Supreme Court case, and my wife's also watching it with me, and she's crying, and I'm tearing up. I tell you this because this is why we're Democrats. Mm -hmm. We believe in equality. We believe in bringing people together for the right purpose. And that's why, for me, it's easy every day to wake up and do a 20-hour day and fight <laughs> for the 20-hour day for the fight for the right causes because November is that important. And that's why I'm proud to work for Terry. Because over the years, I've known him and his family. I tell you this, he is the man we need to be the governor of the Commonwealth. <laughs> As governor, he'll follow the same footsteps as Governor Kane did, Mark Warner did, making sure executive order number one, making sure that the LGBT community is not discriminated against in state government. That would be number one. But also, as you all know, Terry wants to make Virginia the most welcoming state amongst the other 50 states as well. We can't attract the best and brightest from around the world to a commonwealth when we're putting walls around telling folks that they're not on the same level as everyone else. That's not the commonwealth I want to raise my family in, 
I know that's the Commonwealth you all want to raise your family. So, when you leave here today, remember, for the next 128 days, let's be like champions we saw Rachel Maddow last night. Let's be those champions like Bernard Cohen and fight every day and ensure that Ralph Northam, Mark Herring, and Terry McCall win in the bank. All right?